In the Republican-led culture war against Disney, the mouse, well, is still running the house. Executives just announced company earnings from the past three months. Here they are. Disney made $6.7 billion in revenue from theme parks. Disney Plus subscriptions, their streaming service, rose by $7.9 million. Rose didn't fall. That's far higher than estimates just the past three months. Overall revenue is $19.2 billion with a B. All right. In other words, Americans simply aren't boycotting Disney and proving that not everything you hear on cable news comes true. Disney needs Florida more than Florida needs Disney. And the message to traditional Americans is you're not welcome here. That's the message Disney is sending out. They touched the hot stove and they got burned. Hmm. This came, of course, after Florida Governor Ron DeSantis put himself in the ring facing the mouse. Disney came out swinging over DeSantis's bill, limiting conversations about sexual orientation in elementary school classrooms. Disney promised to create transgender and gay characters and the right went nuts. This is about Disney deciding that somehow they know what's good and righteous and decent and thinking that they can threaten or abuse or intimidate Floridians. You might recognize that guy, Tony Katz, longtime friend of the show, who is back with us uh, tonight. Slightly different shirt, and we're glad to see you, my friend. All right, give me one second here. If Disney's earnings came out and streaming subscription uh, rates, uh, uh, revenues plummeted and visits to their theme parks crashed, you'd say the boycott's working, right? I would, but I gotta take a little bit of umbrage. That's going nuts. I've had bigger fights over <laughs> who's gonna pick up the check in my, in my family. I've had crazier things happen at a family reunion. That was not nuts. I, I, I know, no, no, I, I did. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I didn't say you went nuts. I said the right went nuts and you were very eloquently and calmly uh, oh, okay. uh, Judy, uh, discussing how the right felt. So, yes, they would be saying, look, the boycott worked. But I want to take a look at some of those numbers just for a little bit of understanding. When you take a look at the 7.9 million, which I admit, a giant number, especially when you contrast it to Netflix going down, as has been discussed, half of those subscribers came from uh, areas that were more interested in either the bundle or sports areas. There's a lot of live sports that Disney has, especially around the world with cricket and things like that. So it's a very interesting number and in how that would break down, how the rest of the world would see it versus how the United States would see it vis-a-vis -vis Florida. But I don't think there's any doubt that if the right's going to say we're going to boycott, you see the numbers go up, they got to ask themselves if anybody actually engaged a boycott. Well, and we've learned over time, and we, you and I have talked about this, that boycotts really don't do anything. Everybody was going to move to Canada because of President Trump. They were going to leave Twitter because of Elon Musk. Uh, it never happens. It makes a good it, point, though. If, if you pick this culture war, as Ron DeSantis did, and Disney comes back firing on all cylinders with their rate, you know, their numbers earnings through the roof. This is even before the China theme parks open up. How is Ron DeSantis not on the ropes right now and Mickey Mouse the champion. And if you're looking to run for president, as we know Ron DeSantis is, uh, this is not a good look. I would go a little bit of the other way with this. It's not uh, Ron DeSantis nor Florida that started a culture war. It is indeed a large part of the political left uh, that decided to make the claim uh, that anything that you question about them means you're a bigot or a racist or a homophobe, et cetera, when of course that's not true. When you call parents domestic terrorists, that's a pretty big part of the culture war. Uh, this money conversation is a big one, but the stock in Disney has been declining. The last six days have been a complete and total bloodbath in the markets. We've all uh, seen that, but the stock was well on its decline from those 142, 145 yeah, that, numbers. No, that's fair. Close today about 104. That happened soon after they decided to get themselves involved in this conversation. Well, in, in, in fairness, they'd been going down for a while, the new CEO, uh, certainly did not distinguish himself and didn't distinguish himself in, in this fight. But, okay, what's worse, though, if we look at Ron DeSantis, what's worse? Disney picks a fight with you and you end up uh, on the ropes uh, in the corner, or you pick a fight with Disney and you end up in the corner. Either way, when you're running for president, can you afford to have called for this big culture war and this big boycott, and the Republican base, if you will, doesn't show up to boycott? 
Ron DeSantis chose a fight that wasn't necessarily about boycott. It was about certainly oh. special privileges in terms of the, the Reedy Creek Improvement District right. where they took away uh, that. He decided that if Disney was going to stick their nose it, that aggressively in, in the business of parents in Florida, he was going to push back. This is a question of whether or not the political right at large is going to say we're not buying mm -hmm. Disney stock, we're not going to use Disney Plus, we're not going to go to Disney theme parks. Certainly, this has only been like a month or so, and this right. is three months worth of earnings. We could take a look at it next quarter. But the question that you're asking is a solid one. Huh? Are they serious about doing it, or do they look at their kids who really want to watch Moon Knight <laughs> yeah. like, all right, and you, you really to want to Cinderella die. And look, and it may be, and you and I will talk about this up until the midterms, that the culture war works in terms of voting preference, maybe not in terms of buying preference. Uh, Tony, you'll be back long before Disney earnings, all right? I, 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 I only hope so. You, you will indeed. It is good to see you, my friend. Thank you. Take care. All right. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.